camera. <laughs> oh, these fancy cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what's your process of adapting a play from start to finish? Process make, makes it sound quite grand, actually, because it makes it sound like it's really organised and I sort of know what I'm, what I'm doing. There's no point approaching it as an academic exercise. Everything you do has to feel fresh for someone looking at the fir for the first time. But really, it was feeling my way through it until I felt like I kind of had enough of the handle to think, OK, that, that's yeah. the version of this that I want. You say that, but I'm sure I remember when you were doing The Seagull that you also tried pulling it apart, cutting characters, mixing it up, yes. seeing what you liked. It was partly born out of a desire not to be sort of scared of it. That I think that when you find with writers who are brilliant, like Chekhov and Moliere, mm -hmm. there's a robustness to them. That they yeah. completely, they need you to kick them around a bit and they can completely withstand it. Yeah. And so you start realising why they've made these decisions. And actually mm. the process of that and trying to go different ways means that you, you don't just accept things being the way they are for the sake of it. So you need that robustness to kind of to come up with the version where you think every moment of this is going to land without any need for, for, for notes. How, how did we, we, we met we met when you, you interviewed me for a job. That's exactly how we met. Yeah. I know, lucky me. In, it was downstairs in the Curzon. It was downstairs in, in the Curzon. In Soho, Kersen. that's right, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I met four writers and you were the first writer and you were so brilliant that you then wiped out all the other writers. Both times we've worked mm. together, there hasn't been a huge amount of discussion around yeah. it. We've just sort of talked about our ideas and it feels like... I feel really yeah. confident with your work on it. I feel super confident with yours, but yeah. it's also because I love your writing. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think that the way that you, for everything from the overarching meaning of the play to the way that it's constructed, to the way that the lines have the rhythm which reflects the thought of the character but is also super funny and the politics underlying it, all of this I'm a huge fan of. I love it. I find it really exciting. So I feel as though when I'm working on a play of yours, I've already got, it's already in safe hands. Part of directing it, or, or in developing stuff with writers is, is about, there are lots of people who kind of can tell you what's wrong with stuff, but the art of sort of knowing that here's one of the things where I do need to intervene, here's something I know they'll get there, you're, mm. you're, you're good at that. And what that does is it gives me a degree of confidence that you trust me with, sort of, with, with stuff. So again, mm. the, the, those conversations that you're, you're good at just gently saying, well, if you want to do this, we should look in this direction. So, so that it was very light touch, but really useful. Oh, I'm really glad. Okay, oh, so yeah. the writer in the room, mm. Joy, um, at, at, what, at what point <laughs> did you decide <laughs> you've had enough of me in the room? I'm never going to decide I've had enough of you in the room. That, because that's your for ideas the camera. Are, that's totally, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're brilliant in the room, but also what you do, which is wonderful, you're very tactful. You've got to be careful because you know that the actors are going to start to act hoping that it's going it's what the writer wanted as opposed to what they themselves have found yeah, yeah, and they yeah. start going is this right is this right is this right as they act instead of discovering it for themselves you sit there and occasionally help that's, <laughs> so, that's so nice of you. <laughs> i like having that's you in the really room nice of you. and occasionally i can look at you and go john donnelly <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this moment yeah yeah, okay, yeah, and you, and you are, you're very encouraging in that way. I, I never feel yes. unwelcome, which is good. You're always so welcome. Now we have to hug. <laughs> <laughs> the process of developing a play is that it's yours, and then you trust me with it and give it to me, and then I give it to the actors, and then the actors give it to the audience, yeah. and the audience have the power. And so all of it is a process of making that transition of power as smooth as it can be. Apparently, kings and audiences kings and queens and audiences are who you bow to. And so you're saying you have the power. I like that. It's yours. How do we stay motivated? How do we stay motivated? <laughs> well, for me, it, it's, it's, it's a fear is part of it, I think. Sheer saying, blind terror. Yeah, just, yeah. I mean, just sense that you, seriously, that the sense that 900 people watch a, a, yeah. any sort of given show. And so that, that sense of kind of, is it good enough? Is it ready? Yeah. Can it be better? Can it be better? Yeah. Particularly thinking about the kind of the, the history of this building, the things that have been on the stage, and wanting to do something really good. Yes. And wanting to rise to the challenge yeah. of the Littleton. Yes, and, yes. And, and, and realising all that can achieve. Yeah. So thinking, you know, I've, I've not had a, a show on here. I want it to be great. Yeah. And so, so that, that's the thing all the way through yeah. the, 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 the process of the whole thing for me. 
has been the thing which has made me look at a draft and think that's not good enough, it needs yes. to be better. And then you get into rehearsals and you hear a line and think, no, 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 that, that needs to be better. Mm -mm. And, and with the director and with the actors, you, you, as soon as you give a, a line to a really good actor and the line's not quite as good as it should be, it exposes it and you yeah. think, I've, I've, got, I've got to meet the challenge they're setting me. Yes. And, th and that's it's that thing all the way through. Some shows that changed my life were in Littleton. Yeah. So I know it's a space that I w want to make something that is right for it and impresses it. And I have, I have all of that and I have also that moment where you fall in love with the play yeah. and slightly with the cast yeah. and go, I know that you have infinite potential yeah. and I can open this up to yeah. the widest possible and how exciting it is to do that. How do you, <laughs> you, how do you know when the play's ready at, at any stage? Or how do you know when the scene's ready or, or the play's ready? And when, when do you give notes? When, when do you stop? Well, it's a funny thing because especially working on a comedy, mm -hmm. you know, when the audience turn up, what the play is. Yeah. And so the first night, the first preview, is the first time that I know what it is that we've made because they will tell us what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like the other half of the cast turn up and go, right, now we're ready to do the play. Yeah. Everything that I do until that point is a way of trying to make it as robust and as flexible as possible. So mm. when the audience do show up and they start interacting with it, ideally by laughing, as far as I'm concerned, it will never be ready in the rehearsal room. It will probably get close to ready once we've done a few previews, just because the actors will be more at ease with that discussion they're having mm -hmm. with the audience. Mm -hmm. And of course, there comes a certain point, press night is when I say to them, you own it. Yeah, From yeah, now on, yeah. it's, it's yours to do, and I'm not gonna come in and badger you. What we do have, of course, is the amazing Ed Madden staff director, who will pop in to keep it from going too, evolving too far yeah. into elaborate direction. Yes, yeah. And yeah. so he, his job is to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm.